With your relief, Amadea, we're not out of the flames yet. Cyrus, we must keep moving. Bretha, secure the West Wing. Come, we must head to the Hall of Bearings. There are still some of us that are unarmed. stand any chance at winning this. Our men need these masquerades. So let Invidious take them. And what if Portieri await him on the way back? Tell me you trust him or anyone else to defend against them. Cyrus. Honestly. No. Then go. I can fight. I know you can. Which is why you need to go with the... But... No buts. I will be back with reinforcements. Don't you dare do anything foolish with... Yes. You don't mean that, do you, sir? Oh, I mean it. But understanding and complying are two different things, Nahal. She's not going to be happy with you, sir. <laughs> the number of times I've heard that. Sir, 
We aim for the heart. Avestus will be tried to escape. That sounds dangerous, sir. Null, we have broken into the heart of the White Spire. There are few lines of danger we have left to cross. Well, sir, if this is how it has to be, then let us do it. Thank you, Null. And your men as well. But not you, sir. Come on. We have a man to kill. Cyrus, it doesn't have to end this way. I am truly sorry. Go, sir. We've got you covered. Where is Avestus? Safe. The corridors of the registry are twisted. You know that. Just like its leader. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. And you know it. Just because you have that cape on your shoulder doesn't mean that you are blind to the injustices of this broken city. Cyrus, please. You know its insides are corrupt. Its ways foul. And even if I did, what then? We are but single entities, Cyrus. How much can one person hope to achieve? Nothing by themselves, but with people who believe in them, who believe with them. I'm sorry. Lucia, please. You have already cost the city too much. This must end. <laughs> Last words. The city needs to change, Lucia. Goodbye, Cyrus Gavar.
Ships, ships, ships. Nowhere else in a midnight build are there so many damn ships. Is it true, though? You say a moment you lay eyes on that city, a demon possesses you. It's where all magic comes from, they say. They also say the pipe will kill you. Yet, here we are. Yeah. A whole trip I tried not to, Cicerone. But you made a promise. Going back here ain't gonna do you no good. I made a promise to my parents, too. To feed them. Give them a better life. I need the money, Varro. The question is, are you willing to pay with your soul for it? I suppose we'll find out. Into the shadows we go. Breathe it in, Cicero. The smell of a bad decision. That well, smells like runic spices to me. Joke about it now. Relax, Varl. I promise. If you break it, I swear to our seven sisters, I'll come down to the pits myself to wrangle your skinny neck. I'll see you when I see you, Captain. Hands, I was told to expect. Oh, that's us. Elena Toth, sir. Ricardo Toth, at your service. The coach is nearby? Just a minute this way, sir. she? <laughs> I expected the registry to be spending more on dealing with the war than printing up their carriages. Oh, uh, actually, sir... Don't get me wrong, I love the finish, but... Sir, it's this one. What? Oh. Well, the less attention we draw, the better for us, anyway. Come on, let's see if this butte can get us through the... Presence out, all of you. Make no trouble for us. You'll have none yourselves. Sir, do it. That's it, boys. Stop by again. Oh, it was a pleasure. They're getting bolder by the day. I would have liked to have seen how bold they felt if they knew he was an inspiratore. I bet they would have thought... Ricardo! Hear that, boys? An inspettore. You mean you no trouble? <laughs> Words spoken behind a blade. The inspettore will fetch us some. We don't need the other two. Truly a pleasure. Watch your flanks! <laughs> Fight. 
He more than watched, sir. He was practically gawking. Sister. Relax. All I wanted to know is why you seem so surprised. Well, seven inspiratories and none would stoop to a level to have a contadani like us present to watch the train. Doesn't mean you can't steal a glance from the West Wing. The upper levels provide quite the view. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, sir, you're awfully comfortable around us. What do you mean? People like us, I mean. Contadani. Maskless. You mean people who have lives and dreams and all? I think I'd be more worrying if I was uncomfortable, no? so long since I've heard that. I heard what? Uh, slow down, please. That. <laughs> the Pale Isle. For a city this dark to have a heart so bright. <sighs> Let's go. Security measures, sir, since the war began. Business? Transport. And who are you transport? I see. Problem, Ilencio? Carry on. don't expect them to treat war criminals with lightness, do you? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to. No. Stop the coach, please. I think I'd like a little time to myself, if you don't mind. I'll make my way up to the White Spire when I'm done. Of course, sir. We'll be at the stables if you need to find us. has tea. Let's see how well he bites. Hold your ground! Attention. We are in the middle of a war, Silencio. Do you understand that? I didn't... Do you understand? Yes, sir. Your masquerade is to be used against the mask runners of the city, not 
against its citizens, exiled or not. You have demonstrated a sore lack of understanding with regards to the utilization of masquerades. You will unbind from your masquerade and have the privilege of its company revoked for a period of ten days. Keep me waiting any longer and it'll be thirty. If I hadn't been out for a drink... Why are you here, Cicero? A man with your reputation must be either mad or desperate to return to the city. Here, read it. Summoned back to Umber at the request of the Verone, your exile will be revoked and you will be granted a grand sum of... So what? You're back for the money? Bad or desperate. And do you know for what reason you've been called back? If you can decipher anything from this cryptic mess, please. You need to see a Vestus. Uh, accompany me? I think it'd be a good time to hear what's been going on. You mean it'd be good to have a bodyguard? I was trying to be nice. <laughs> Come on. He's in the White Spire. It. We don't care. You're at least a week away from another rotation. I'm the best firebrand here, and you know it. Get lost, Travis. You know there's no way you're going to get it. Were they arguing over a masquerine? Aren't there enough to go around? <sighs> the war. Ever since your brother gave out all those masquerines to the mask runners, the death toll on both sides has been great. And you've been losing masquerines. So long as they sit upon a dying face, to the dust they go. And now, the city is running out of them. Everyone's feeling it. The guilds, the mask runners, the registry. The vigilists even suspect that in the next 50 years or so, there'll be fewer than a hundred masquerades left. But there were thousands before. Surely five years... Five years have crippled this country, Cicero. I am sorry. That did not come out as smoothly as I had intended. You're tired. I understand. You would, wouldn't you? Well, let's not keep a Vestus waiting.
so. Any idea why the old man wants to see me? Not a very solid one. One of the Regenti has gone missing. And, uh, and, and these walls should not be privy to this conversation. Tell me he's changed, at least a little. Have fun finding out. In all the twenty years that I have spent perched upon the spire, not once have I seen my city so broken. Tristan was telling me the war's almost over. Over? When does a war end? When the trumpets of peace sound? When the mask runners are dead in the gutter? No. It ends when it ceases to echo through every street or shadow every face. It is over when the halls that it has emptied fill once again. This war is far from over. I trust the past five years have treated you well? They've been kind. Kind? Is that what you call those years you spent throwing all your coin in barkeeps, fleeing the grip of sobriety? How? The Cavalli fields may be located across the belt, but it's still within the registry's vigil. And so is plagued by your rats. Why am I here? The answer is all around you. You've been to the docks. You've walked through the grounds. How many portieri enjoy the company of masquerades? Tristan told me. The city's losing too many of them. We must learn the secrets of the masquerades. Learn how to stop them from disintegrating upon their wearer's death. This is a job better suited for the vigilist. Widen your mind, Cicero. You think I called you here to bury your nose in dusty toes? You are not the first that I have spoken to of these matters. A regenti of mine was tasked three months ago to explore the annals we have on masquerades. You are here to find him. How long has he been missing? He missed sending in his last report due 20 days ago. And you've sent no one else? <sighs> Ophina and Corvus were sent to investigate. What did they find? That their songs were shorter than they expected. Both of them? Ophina was found hanging in her room, hands tied, wrists slit. Corvus's body was not so fortunate. Whoever it was had resources, wit, knowledge, finesse. It's a pity the two before you managed to find nothing apart from their own deaths. So you called me back to feed me? No, I called you back to find my regenti. If the canines come at you while you're at it, well, you're a fool if you think I'll do this. I'll think much more than that if you turn away. Especially if you read the case notes. You might find the name of my regenti. You two were acquainted, were you not? Only that you are to breathe no word whatsoever to anyone else regarding this case. Everything else you need is in those notes. Arm yourself in the hall of bearings. Then see what you can find. That is all.
survive the trial, I see. Barely. The bastard's still as oily as ever. Careful. Walls have ears. So, was I right? This is about the Regenti that's gone missing. Razatov, that's the one. Didn't he save my life? Yes. Avestus used that against me. So now you're on the case, too. Any advice, then? Just... Try not to die. We've lost enough inspiratories as is. <laughs> you can bet on that. Now, why not? 